are continuing to bring you uh, more information about the Wine and Food Festival that is about to kick off at the Ottawa Conference Centre. Uh, Going to be a wonderful time, lots of things to experience and enjoy. Joining us today, we have Russell Weir joining us, the Canadian Culinary Federation, also a big deal over at Algonquin too, so great to have you here. Uh, and also Paul Meek. Very familiar aspect of our show with Kitchissippi. Can I start with you? Because I think like the big congratulations yes, are in sure, order. Sure. This is yeah, kind of yeah, huge yeah. news coming to you with uh, with the beer. Yeah, we submitted a couple entries to the World Beer Championships in Chicago. So uh, about a week uh, to ten days ago, uh, our 1855 that we're pairing today uh, won the gold medal, uh, the World Beer Championships with 90 points. So we're pretty stoked. We're having a lot of fun. So nice. Is there, is there a beer clap? Like yeah, it should probably be more like be a toast. into it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. There you go. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty we're yeah. pretty excited, and then leading that leading into the the festival this weekend, to uh, to pair the beer with the bacon bar the chef's got uh, planned is going to be an awesome time. So yeah. really looking no forward to it. Let's talk Do about you? that. All right. Yeah, and then let's talk about how you've made you've weaved bacon. I'm in love with you. I hope that sounded so good. Uh, <laughs> this is brilliant. I love this. Well, I'm going to actually, you're going to do it. Okay. And it's going to look like that. All right. Let's do it. Okay. So what are we making? Okay. What we have today is a uh, applewood smoked bacon and sausage roll. And I put roll in quotations because it's a little bit different than a sausage roll. Right. Okay. Um, on one hand, we're going to make the sausage, which we have right here. So Leanne's going to make the sausage mm -hmm. and I'm going to yeah. handle the rolling. And we're going to spread right. that out. So on, onto here. all so of it? I'll take some of it here for you. And I'm going to put put it a little bit here. Oh. And I would like you to take this and spread it out as thin and as smoothly as you can. I can do that. Okay, and while the, while she's doing that, we're heating our pan. And we can chop up all kinds of vegetables, onions, celery, roasted garlic, all sorts oh, of various nice. things Which that we're going to put in. Look at that, it's done. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Look, we did it all. Uh, thank you for prepping that okay. for us. Paul's over here busy prepping the beer, which is great. Um, very this big is a part bit of, of a difficult yeah, task, maybe? Uh, maybe? This is very flexible. <laughs> it's, uh, it's ground pork, mm -hmm. ground oh, veal, oh. and just to give it a little bit of zing, we also have some ground uh, Italian mm. sausage in there. Okay. Doesn't we've, that smell amazing? Yeah, it does. <laughs> we've seasoned it with roasted garlic, that's what you're smelling probably. Okay, and, Chef, uh, is there a better way that I no, should have no, been doing this? Okay, do I'm doing it. all right. Just, all right. It's hard work. It gets better. It gets easier. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this preparation, again, when I look at things like this, I think to myself, uh, oh, you could do this at home. But then you're going to do it for me, so there's that. So what's the point? Right, right. exactly. Yeah, so when you're at the Wine and Food uh, Festival, so you've got the bacon bar going, yeah, right? Yeah, we do. So we have two things happening. We have a cash and carry where we are simply making a pasta carbonara, which is with bacon. Mm -hmm. We're doing pea meal bacon on... Uh, <sighs> on a bun and people can just pass by pick that up for a small fee and keep going yeah. or you can take part of the actual bacon bar itself which is a pre-sold three plate tasting with beer pairing by Kitchissippi. I haven't tried it but I already so, suggest that option. Yeah. Right? It's, it's $25 it's pre-sold you can get tickets at the Ottawa Wine and Food Festival dot com. Okay. Or you can pick them up at the show if there's any seats available but it's selling out pretty quick already as I'm aware. I like that. Um, 25 bucks, you get three pretty, pretty interesting bacon plates, three fantastic beers, a chance to talk to Paul, talk to myself, or nice. some of the other chefs that are there. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, eat bacon, drink beer. You can't How's go wrong. Okay, 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 we're okay. doing well. I'm gonna do we're doing good. I think what's remarkable is seeing the growth because two years ago, yeah. I remember seeing yeah. you at a very small, just set up booth at the, uh, at the wine and food. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and to just think about it two years later, well, what are you doing? And it's great, and that's it's. I'm glad you said the growth of the booth and mm -hmm. not the growth of the Paul. So I, was, I appreciate you throwing that in at the end. But, but uh, and this is what's great is Chef approached us about uh, you know stepping forward this year and shaking things up. Uh, they've always done wines, so and we're really excited that. Uh, this awesome concept, which to me is, is a big focal point of the show, mm -hmm. um, is looking to do something fun and keep it very local as well. So must have been nice to when someone said you want to uh, pair up with a bacon bar, and you said uh, uh, that sounds like a winner. It's doesn't fantastic. Go with beer. Yeah, bacon, <laughs> it sure beer. does. For us, it's it's a great thing. Like for obviously, Chef Weir has got an incredible name in the community, and for him to come to us and say, "Look, to work with you," is quite a compliment. That so is it's, so it's nice. a really great thing. Now, Chef, okay. uh, he's added. Is that like an onion sauerkraut? Yeah, or this sauerkraut? is a, so uh, caramelized onions with mm -hmm. um, with celery and roasted garlic. Yum. Um, I've put down a kind of a Worcestershire-based barbecue type of sauce. Okay. To give it a little more of that smokiness, <laughs> and uh, applewood smoked cheddar. Wow. It's, uh, 
That sounds it's, amazing. It's Sorry, all I went a little over. Bacon. Uh, okay. it, then we'll roll it. You this is the roll. Go, you can't go wrong with bacon in anything nowadays. Everybody seems to be more in love with it than they ever have been. Have you noticed that in your experience? Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, I think that. a few years ago, people may have been embarrassed to talk about their love for it, but now yeah. it's uh, now, well, it's, now, now they now wear it proud. proudly on T-shirts. That's right. <laughs> exactly. And speaking of T-shirts, we we have T-shirts that are available at the show as well. Is that right? Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I Bacon can't believe that segue Canada. worked. <laughs> okay. Now this is my job now, Leanne. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'll gonna, hear you I'm jumping in. Me. Yeah, look at me doing your job. Okay. So no. you want to just sort of unfold that without unrolling it? Oh, right, on, right on top of the bacon. Okay. So and. Well, let's see you figure out how to do this one. So this you're saying test. roll it onto the bacon and take it out of the plastic clearly. Yeah. Like this, maybe? Nice. Yeah, that's Is that right? sort of backwards, but it'll work in the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, chef, if it works. We're always open for new things. Yeah, so I want to do take that out, okay, right? That's great. That's great. Is that? Oh, awesome. Good job, Jeff. Okay, now roll it Now out. roll it roll like this. Tight. Nice and tight, and then yeah, kind do of. that. Okay. See, I'm a little extended past the end. I don't think that's right, that's is it? That's okay. All right. This is TV. You'll let... <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. There we go. Okay. And then, assuming that it was a little tighter than that. Right. Wow. Assuming someone knew what they were doing. It looks pretty good there. It's, yeah, it's it going to start to smell fantastic. Yeah. I can smell it already. Oh, oh wow. Okay, wow. got it. <laughs> yeah, I just wow. got it. That is unbelievable. And then how long would you let it go like that? Oh, about that long. <laughs> Look at that. And I'm going to sear that all sides. Maybe it takes about five minutes, and then we'll finish it off in the oven with a temperature probe, making it 160 degrees. Yeah, so five minutes. a side? Are you five a side, or just five minutes in total? Five minutes in total. OK, I could so, almost turn that now. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to continue to cook in the oven, and that's why you need the oven, the internal temperature, because you're not, obviously, when you're on the frying pan, you're not cooking the inside. So. No. Just okay. searing the bacon. And uh, we've woven it like this because what we want to do now is we want to slice it to make our plate. Okay. And if we didn't weave it, when we sliced it, the bacon would just fall apart. Right, okay. So, so let's, can Plus we see that looks, slice? We it see it looks inside? pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, can we have a look in there? Absolutely. Or? Okay. Have a nice. Oh, so it's quite firm, so it doesn't fall apart. That's okay, and then we pair it with this. Okay, we got to go. Basic. Here you go. Okay, thanks. One. A little taste. Chef. Cheers, chef. Bacon and beer. Oh, look at that. Oh. So that's what so it looks like. So that's what ends up looking like. And that's one of the courses in the uh, in the that's three the courses. Course. Cheers. All Thank right, you, chef. Here. And Thank uh, Paul, cheers. congratulations once again Thank on the award-winning. Thank you award very much. Uh, See everybody beer. on Friday. Why? Yes, wine and food show Friday. Go to the Bacon Bar. We uh, highly recommend it.